is a scary story that has the elements of a crime novel, carjacking, kidnapping, ransom call. The victim, a 59-year-old man from University Heights who ended up in the middle of a street in East Cleveland. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos is live now at FBI headquarters filling in the rest of the story. Lee, the FBI is handling this case tonight. They spent the day talking to the victim and trying to piece together exactly what happened and who did it. It all started here on Washington Boulevard in University Heights last night about 10 o'clock. Police got a call from a woman who told them her husband was backing his black Infinity SUV into the driveway at their home when he was carjacked and kidnapped. It was reported that there were two to three black males that had uh, uh, taken him at gunpoint um, with his vehicle uh, right in front of his residence last night. Then this morning, police say that same man, Michael Philpot, was found bound and gagged in the middle of Melbourne Road in East Cleveland. He was being held in, in this house, uh, was able to get out of the house where a, uh, you know, a witness saw him in the street and called East Cleveland Police. University Heights and East Cleveland Police, as well as the FBI, are now involved in this case. The FBI, because kidnapping and armed carjackings are federal offenses. A family member did receive a phone call uh, for a ransom demand, so that certainly escalated. Um, you know, our efforts in trying to find the victim and find out who did this. FBI evidence teams, dogs and investigators from a couple of departments spent the day recovering anything that might help them piece together exactly what happened. As for the 59-year-old Phil Pot, he spent the day with FBI agents giving them details about who might have done this. Now, the victim's SUV was found a short distance from where Philpot was found this morning. The FBI says they are putting together a more detailed description, and they'll release it when it is complete. And as soon as we get that, of course, we'll pass that along to you. And coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from a neighbor on the street where that victim was found. For now, reporting live at FBI headquarters, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.